lesson for today is about Pythagorean theorem. We are about to discuss on how to solve the triangle using Pythagorean theorem. But first, what is Pythagorean theorem? It states that the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the legs. In this triangle, you are asked to find the length of triangle PQR using Pythagorean theorem. We will use the formula B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So, QR squared is equal to 5 squared minus B squared. To take away the square root of QR, we need to find the square root of the difference of PR and QR. So, QR is equal to square root of 25 minus 9 is equal to square root of 16 or 4. To check, QR squared is equal to PR squared minus PQ squared. 4 squared is equal to 5 squared minus 3 squared. 16 is equal to 25 minus 9. 16 is equal to 16. In this triangle, you are asked to find the hypotenuse of triangle ABC using Pythagorean theorem. We will use the formula C squared is equal to a squared plus B squared. So, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. Then AC squared is equal to 8 squared plus 15 squared. Then AC squared is equal to 64 plus 225. To take away the square of AC, we need to square the sum of 64 and 25, which is equal to square root of 289 or 17. To check, AC squared is equal to AB squared plus BC squared. They are all equal to 17 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 15 squared. Then 289 equals 64 plus 225. And they are both equal to 289. In this problem, to find C, we will use the equation C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. In this triangle, 2x plus 7 is the hypotenuse and 3x plus 3 and x plus 2 are the legs. So 2x plus 7, quantity squared, is equal to x plus 2, quantity squared, plus 3x plus 3, quantity squared. 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 9x squared plus 18x plus 9. 4x squared plus 28x plus 49 is equal to 10x squared plus 22x plus 18. 0 is equal to 10x squared minus 4x squared plus 22x minus 28x plus 13 minus 49. So, 0 is equal to 6x squared minus 6x minus 36. This equation is divisible by 6, so we will divide it by 6, and we will find the factors of it. 0 is equal to x squared minus x minus 6. And the factors are x minus 3 and x plus 2. So, x is equal to 3. And we will substitute it to the equation of 2x plus 7, quantity squared is equal to x plus 2. 40 squared plus 3x plus 3, 40 squared. So, 2 times 3 plus 7, 40 squared is equal to 3 plus 2, 40 squared plus 3x plus 3, 40 squared. 13 squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 169 is equal to 25 plus 144. 169 is equal to 169. So the sides are 5, 12, and 13. In this problem, we are asked to find DC. To find it, first, we need to find DB because it is the other leg of the triangle DBC. And we cannot find DC if we will not find DB. To find DB, we will use the equation c squared minus b squared is equals to a squared. 
we will use this equation because we are finding the other length of the triangle ABD. So first, 12 squared minus 10 squared is equals to DB squared. Then, 144 minus 100 is equals to DB squared. To take away the square of DB, we need to find the square root of the difference of 144 and 100, which is equal to square root of 44 or 2 square root of 11. So, DB is equal to 2 square root of 11. Then to find DC, we need to use the equation C squared minus B squared is equal to A squared. Because we are finding the other leg of the triangle DBC. So first, 24 squared minus quantity 2 square root of 11 squared is equal to DC squared. Then it is equal to 576 minus 44 is equal to DC squared. To take away the square of DC, we need to square root the difference of 576 minus 44, which is 532, or 2 square root of 133. Then to check, 24 squared is equal to quantity 2 square root of 11 squared plus quantity 2 square root of 133 squared then 576 is equals to 44 plus 532 and they are both equal to 576.